at it, Patmos Sand. Nice of you to join me for yet another video with Farthest Frontier as we keep developing our town. And well, right now we're just gazing upon the sheer size of this town. As winter is about to end, we're going to start year 31. And let's keep going with what we are doing. And one of the main things we were doing is trying to grow in numbers, which works out. But we also need to increase the amount of laborers. And right now, we don't have enough. You need at least 47 is recommended. So that's a lot. We need a lot more laborers. Well, let's try and make sure that we get those. Not 100% sure we can, but we'll try. Bean wilt and powdery mildew. Oh well, after this year that'll be over, so that's good. And of course, uh, these things are bound to happen. Taxes collected, that's great. People get sick all the time, of course, but we'll deal with it. Alright, let's see. Well, most of the defenses are up. Uh, only this row, and then that's up. Then maybe some defenses here. Could work out well. I think we should set this up to be well defended, actually. Let's just try it out. Let's go with it. Uh, I think we should just extend this wall like this. Yes, and then put a few gates in there. Uh, I think one right here so that they can get into that zone. Uh, we'll put one in front of this tower and I think one here. Then let's see. Let's zone a few areas off. Uh, like this. And then we'll build one more tower here, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, right here. Just one extra tower for in case they come here. Ah, we have a merchant. Let's go check what he has to offer us. Maybe we can get something nice or sell something. Well, we can sell some clothing, but we don't have that much actually, so I'm not going to sell that. Not paying good price for most products. Oh, we could get some sand. That will be quite beneficial. Uh, yeah, let's buy and transfer because they can use it to turn it into uh, glass and that's one of the things we really need. So let's get going with that. I'd love to get my hands on more glass. I think we have a little bit... No, we're already run out again. Okay. Ah, another merchant. Interesting. Can we sell something to you for a good price? Oh, we can sell some pottery. Let's sell some pottery and some clothing for a better price. Not going to sell all of it, but... Well, let's do another 50. Perfect. All right, we have money again. Does he sell anything that we need? Maybe some stone. No, we have plenty of stone. Iron, maybe? Yeah, let's buy some iron. We could use that. Especially for the barrels that we want to get. Um, but I think it might be actually worth it to put two extra people in the potter building and maybe two in the... Uh, in the tailor building but I'm not sure where it is we'll have to find that um, but because I think um, that will be quite beneficial to us if we get more clothing and stuff like that there's the weaver yeah that's the one uh, we have plenty of flax anyway and the more clothing we get the more we can sell and that's good for the money now we have plenty of money so it's not like we really 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 need the money but I just like to be prepared. Your village is low on laborers. Yes, I know. That's because of our defenses, of course. We have so many defenses. And we have a lot of houses that want to upgrade that all needs need goods and stuff like that. Well, this gets built rather quickly, I have to say. Let's upgrade this road. And this little piece here. Yeah, let's upgrade three roads at the same time. Then wait for them to be done. And then we can do a few more roads. Another merchant comes in. And a new villager is born. Let me check. Yeah, some more clothing to sell. But I'm, I'm not going to do that. We can buy some shoes. But they're very pricey. I don't want to do that. Five villagers graduated. So 74% of our village is educated. I think that is a very good number. That really helps with the efficiency. But still, we need a lot more laborers. We have plenty of goods. 
We just need more. Oh, there it is. Ah, now we have 45 laborers. Where did they all come from? I guess a few kids grew up. That has to be it. Well, we, need st we still need 47, I think. Yeah, so we're almost there now. Another merchant arrived. So, wow, that's nice. Ooh, and he wants to buy some furniture for a very good price. Let's do so. Uh, iron ore, but we don't need iron ore. We could get some armor, though. Or some good pikes. Hmm, not sure. I'm not so sure we really need it. Well, we could use some armor, I guess. Oh boy, that's really expensive. Yeah, not going to do that. Ah, we can put some compost to good use. Let's add it right there. This one almost ready to, to get some compost out. That's good. I think we should uh, now repair this building. We want this to keep working. We don't want that to stop. And I think, yeah, now that we get really close to the amount of laborers that they say we need, our village should be starting to run smoother and smoother. And that's, yeah, that's really what we're aiming for, to get a really smooth run village. All right, let's mark this for repairs. Both of them, actually. Still a lot of stone chopping. Gold ore. Oh, we have plenty of money. We produce good amounts of ore of gold, so that's good. I think our defenses are up to speed where they need to be. This is all good. Population 8 out of 10 and 9 out of 10, so we really get the populations good. Um, do we still have fruits? No. So that might be one of the things that we could use to get some extra fruits. Uh, but I think they're all put into the jars, of course. But getting a few extra fruit pieces could be a nice addition to town. Ooh, a forager died, apparently. 42 laborers. Okay. Interesting. Uh, well, this farmland is producing very well. We get hides here. We could get an extra... Where is it? Hunter here. Uh, maybe we should put it on this side then. Because that also means that we get a few extra hides. We have a predator sighted. It's a bear. <laughs> well, it was a bear. It no longer is a bear. Well, that worked out. We still have lots of zones checked out to be uh, chopped down and stuff. I think with the more laborers we have, that should be happening uh, quite soon. That they're just chopping everything down. Ah, four new kids born. Oh, they're really upgrading the town now. They're really upgrading all these houses. And we're getting closer and closer to the right uh, things for the best houses there are. Which is nice. They will give us extra capacity. Larger happiness bonus from desirability and increased durability. Oh, that's very good. Now let's focus on these houses first. We should be finishing those rather quick. The amount of laborers we have now. And then hopefully we can also set out to, to really defend this part of town. The soap shop. Let's see, is there anything that we're missing? We can see just by the grey areas what we're missing. We're not really missing anything. Candles, perhaps. And some medicine. But that's about it. That's what we're missing. And maybe some additional roots. So those might be things we could be looking for on the map. Now, I believe there's some additional roots here. Yeah, at least one. But I don't think one of those is enough to, to build a um, forager right here. That's... Not really the amount that I'm looking for. All right, let's do some recon. Ooh, is this out of sand already? Yeah, it is. All right, let's get everybody out. They're not really uh, productive now anyway. Okay, um, I guess we have to find another sand pit again then. I believe there was one on the other side. Ah, this one should be gathering additional roots, so that's okay. 
Maybe we should move the zone a little bit, not to include so many different products. Alright, did we already start working on another sand pit? I don't think so. How many people do we have working in the sand pits? Um, can't really see, I guess. Work camp, Sawyer, Miner. Uh, they're probably just called Miners. Um, here we have clay. But we need sand. Thing is, we can't just type it in and it'll find my sand. So we'll have to look around. Oh, I believe there was one somewhere near the mountain. I'm not... Oh, where was it again? Uh, oh, here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, this is already functional. Let's put more purple in there. Just to gather more sand. Okay, so at least we have one more. Question is, do we have enough more to keep the production up? Or do we need to buy sand all the time? Right, let's take a look here as well. Because here's medicinal roots and stuff. So I would like to get a forager out here. To get all those medicinal roots. The more we have, the better. Ah, that should be fine. We have a nice graveyard, slowly starting to fill up. Could have done quite a bit worse with that, but we're doing quite okay. Ah, they're building the road now. Just one more house upgrading, then most of the upgrades appear to be done. We have exactly the number of... Um, people that we need, so that's good. Seven new villagers born, because we have extra space because of the house upgrades. That's good. Need a few repairs, though. Let's tell them to immediately fix these buildings. Alright, so that work that's working out, at least. Uh, oh, we were doing some recon down here, I believe. Did they do that already? Yeah. Ah, we got some extra deer that we can use because we we need the hides. We don't really need the meat. Uh, we just need the hides. So let's build one here as well, just to get those hides. Right, let's see how far along does the map go. Oh, quite far. Well, let's take a walk around this lake then. Ooh, and up this mountain. Ah, there's some more gold here. Big, big mountain. Oh, that's fairly interesting. I think we should do some recon right here on that spot. And, well, maybe here. Let's just try and find some more sand or something. Ah, there's sand. 2900. Let's just hope we don't run into any wolf dens or something like that. That could be a problem if you run into wolf dens. Alright, now I think we still need to do some work on this area too. Because this is um, only three towers. If they come from this direction and they come with a pretty heavy attack, it's not actually that good. Plus, these can't really uh, shoot very well, apparently. Alright, let's see. They are placed next to the wall, but they're still... I think because of because it's a hill, that, that poses a problem. Um, see, if we place this one, it'll also be zero. If we place it on top here, it's quite strong, actually. So we could keep this as the second line of defense and just set up another line of defense then. Just here in the north. That could be something that is well worth it. Um, I think we should do it like this. Alright, let's start with this part. And then continue on this side, like this. Yeah, okay. Well, this will take a bit of time. 
And leaving the thing open means that even if some parts are built, they should just skip it and run past it. And then once we get the defenses up, we'll build a gate there too. Right now we'll leave it open so it doesn't get destroyed too quickly. A villager stricken with broken leg. Oh, I haven't seen that one very often. Ah, they did the recon. So now we can see out here what's there. Three animals born, five villagers born. New year. All right, so here's... Ah, there's some clay. I missed this part, so let's do that. Okay, well, at least we can now see a lot more of the map. I just wish we could zoom out a bit more or maybe get a... Um, like a map view that you just click and then you can see the map what you've already discovered and, and whatnot and stuff. That would also be quite interesting, I think. Ah, this one is up. So now this can gather all the medicinal roots that we need. We can see our amounts of money still grow and should be traders incoming soon. So maybe we can buy some good stuff. This road is still not upgraded. They're not really fast with the road upgrades. Kind of hoping that they'll do that a bit quicker. Um, I'm just going to tell them to do a few more road upgrades. Ooh, and I think what might help is do it like this. So now we get a few extra builders. That should speed things up. Crops lost a disease, but it happens all the time. With all the fields that we have, only two with a little bit of disease. That's not bad. That's quite good, actually. Not a broken leg. Apparently my villagers have not the best legs out there. Alright, let's see. I think we should move this one because this is not really productive. Uh, and I think if we move it, we can move it to a better place like right here. There's also all the um, willow that it needs. And some additional roots. We do it here, we have the willow and so no, we do to do it here because of the willow. Right there. And this should help placing all the walls. Um Yeah, I think I wanna do it like this. But then we also need to put the um gates in already, of course. Uh We'll do at least two gates, and then we'll see. At least for this part, this is good. Village is stricken with disease. Yeah, that's bound to happen. Ah, the road is now upgraded. Very good. There is a trader. Ooh, we're almost out of clothes. We have no hides. We have no shoes. So we have a few issues. We also have no candles. I would like to have more candles. We do have medicinal roots now, so that's good. Let's just wait for another trader. See if we can get things like hides, because we need those for more shoes and more of those hide coats. But I haven't seen hides around many times. Could well be that there will be no hides for us to actually buy. Villager cured, villager cleared, fractured bone. Another merchant came in. Yeah, that's good. We checked those two already. Well, everybody is quite busy. I don't like the fact that there's no real notification when something like this emptied out. So you can't really see whether it's empty already unless you go over it and, and find it. Maybe there should be a little alert system or something like that. Four new villagers born, okay. Yeah, I know there's a traveling merchant. I already checked it. Saving the game again, that's fine. Well, running a big town is really nice, but it comes with its challenges. Ah, they're finally chopping the stuff here now, so that's good. That means that plenty of laborers are now doing a good job. They're building things here. Let's see what this guy has to offer. He has to offer hides. Okay. Uh, buy and transfer. We need a few of these as well. 
Because we have none. Buy and transfer. Anything else? Maybe some cheap stone? I don't think so. We have plenty of stone. But we could sell some of this, but I don't think... Yeah, we can sell this. That's okay, but the rest we'll keep. Uh, I think I would like to buy a few more of these then. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, that worked out. At least now we have some of those hide coats again. Still have two shoes, that's okay. And now we have 30 hides. We have another compost badge ready. Let's go check here, 61, yeah. Then you need some compost. There's one even with 56 I saw. So once this is done, we'll put that on there. I'd, I'm not really sure if it helps if we upgrade this. Let's go check it out. Let's upgrade it. Prioritize. See if we get extra heights out of it. I don't believe so. But it would be great if it was the case. Just need to hunt a lot of deer. Which can be done of course. It's not that hard actually. We just have too many people that need to travel far to get to their house and stuff. We're just so big. Let me check. We have 47 now. We need 49 at this point. So we still need a few more. But then we might be able to train a few soldiers in case another attack comes in. And I'm quite keen on that. I think it will be very helpful to train a few soldiers. Oh, this is slowly coming along. I think they also prioritized some of the roads that I told them to upgrade. So maybe they were a bit focused on that too. This is almost filled up. So we have so many things. It is really cool, but also quite interesting that we really need to uh, keep building stockyards. Ooh, look at that. This one has a lot of barrels. That's good. 30% spoil reduction. That is actually quite, quite a good amount because that means that one third slower spoilage. So if things normally spoil in 9 months, then they'll now spoil in 12 months. So that's that's a big increase. That's really good. 98%. So soon that will be ready. Yeah, we can't upgrade the barn, but that's okay. We might be able to do that later. How are we looking with this? We need more bricks and we need more iron. And then we can upgrade... The town hall. So that could be a focus. Bricks and iron. Although all the traders are gone already. So we can't get. Can't buy any. But that could be something for the next. Uh, for the next round of, of merchants. Three villagers born. That's all very nice. I haven't seen an incoming group of immigrants for a while, I guess. It would be nice if we could get a bunch of immigrants, then we can make them into soldiers straight away. Although there might also be a few jobs that need more people. If we get more candle shop makers, then that could be nice. But I don't think we have any wax at this point. They have plenty of firewood, we just don't have the wax for it. Only three. So we need more... Beehives or apiaries. Luckily, you don't need to... Uh... Yeah, there's two in those fields, so we can place some in these fields too. They'll give a good bonus. And it could, this could be the difference between having enough candles for everyone and struggling to even have candles. This could be the difference. That's really nice. Let's go see. Still a lot is set to be chopped down. So as long as that's not chopped down, they're not getting to it. So we don't have to worry about that. 60, 60. All right, 60 is the lowest. So let's add it there. Always happens right after winter, of course, so it won't be added straight away. Well, there goes the geese. So 
Winter should be coming soon. Is this guy still doing a good job? Yes, he is. Okay. Need to keep checking those things. Might be that somebody accidentally died and you need to replace them. That could well be the case. So, And I would like people who are sick to be in the laborer pool and not doing any other job because they're actually not doing it. So they better do nothing as a laborer than as a critical guard right in the area where we are attacked, for instance. So that's why I keep changing those out. Oh, we have a lot of animals. Look at this. 9 out of 10 and 10 out of 10. Very good. We get a lot of meat from it. We get some hides from it. We get some milk. Oh, that's actually, actually quite good. Well, we're not going to butcher anyone, so... Well, as long as new ones get born, the older one will be butchered, so that's okay. Just kind of hoping we can really... Get the number of heights up, but it's just running down from the last time we bought a few, so that might take quite some time. Ah, there they come. Bringing in some more stone. We have plenty of stone, so that should not be a big issue, but I think it's going rather slow, actually. Here we have the forager, a villager's feeling worse. Well, I hope they can heal him. Let's just hope we don't get attacked in this area yet because they'll tear everything down pretty quickly. Maybe we should build the gates here. In case they come, then they'll be busy tearing down these gates, which will take quite some time. And that might be beneficial because that will slow them down. Give us time to, I don't know, get some soldiers close by or something like that. Although that's quite tough if you don't have them in the barracks yet. Missing a farmer, missing a forager. Now the real winter is starting. Ah, these roads are upgraded now. Some roads are very well traveled. So I think we really need to upgrade those. Although now, of course, with the winter storm, people will just rush home and, and, and find a place to shelter. Do we have enough coal? Oh, plenty of coal. I guess we can take a few people out of there. Since we have so much. that's That may, might also be a good thing to check here and there whether we can... Get a few people out of some businesses because we have so much. It's just a coal that we have a lot of. That's about it. And some honey. Let me see. Furniture. Brewery. It needs grain and honey and it will produce beer. Now that'll be a very nice addition to town. Producing some beer. Now here we have grain, so this could be a good spot for this, um, because there's a lot of grain that it can use. And once it's done, let's prioritize this actually, because I want the brewery up. We can get a few pups and raise desirability even more. Well, it's pretty cold for some people. Alright, well, food's still okay, even though we grew with quite a few villagers, it's still fine. Because of the winter storm, they're not really building here. They are going outside here to chop down some trees, which is also a very important thing to do. We need those trees for the wood. We're stuck around 100 wood all the time, so having the extra laborers doing uh, businesses like chopping down logs, that's quite the... Uh, important feature and now here's the gate so at least this area is almost sealed off so this should slow them down if in case they come in which is to our benefit of course so that'll be nice 
if we get another attack it should be somewhere around late winter or early spring or maybe early spring or near the summer so if they could finish it by then that means at least an extra line of defense but these towers aren't really very useful unless of course they get in then they can fire from the back so that is useful Oh well, we'll see. We'll let them finish first and then put up a few towers in this area. So at least we have some extra defenses. Four animals born, three new villagers born. Alright, that's good. That's working out. We'll let them continue what they're doing and just hope we don't get a big attack. Kind of wondering if more kids grew up because then this number will go up even further. Might just happen every now and then, and then we can um, get the amount of laborers just by a few kids growing up. Alright, they should be butchering an animal probably. Yeah, 10 out of 10 now. Very good. Um, yeah. Well, this is only one wall, but it, it's, it's okay defended, so... For now, I'm not worried about it, but I do want to get better defenses up here as well. Ah, a merchant. Now, since we have so much money, I would like to buy some stuff. Yes, we need bricks. We need a lot of bricks, actually. But they're quite expensive at this point. Yeah, they're a bit too expensive. They're really, really expensive. Far above the average price. So, yeah, those we're not going to buy. We have plenty of these, so we don't have to buy those as well. Not really selling selling anything, so yeah, bye. Building is on fire. Another merchant arrived. Now that's a good sign. Um, now oh, he's paying good price for um, some clothing. Let's sell fifty. Anything good that he's willing to sell? Well, some iron. And although we have quite a bit, we could use more. Let's buy and transfer. And I think we should get some stone when we have the money anyway. That's nice. Okay. Ah, there's another trader. Let's wait a second so we can check that one too. All right, here we go. Ah, he has shoes for a good price. I like it. Let's buy a lot of them because some of our people are walking without shoes. He has wood for a down price, but yeah, I'm not really interested in that. Could buy some of this. Is there anything we can sell to make some money? Eh, not really. Or at least not the things that I want to sell. But let's see, he's buying bricks for 16. But this one is selling them for 18, so that's not going to work out. He's buying baskets for 18. Let's pause for a second. This one is selling them for 17. Yeah, well, those are just so small differences that I'm not really going to bother with it okay well at least we got this now and we got quite a few goods that we actually need get some shoes now I just need to hope to be selling some furniture soon ooh and this is now up so let's get the defenses in one two Three, four towers, I say. Uh, we can build a wall here. And here. Oh, but then they can't reach this one. Hmm. Interesting. I guess we need to change a few walls out for... Um, gates. Alright, let's build a gate here. So this one has a gate, this one has a gate, this one has a gate. And then we'll build a gate right here. Nice. Then, we can build a wall here too. Not going to build the gates yet. We'll do that later on. Or we might just... No, I'm going to do this completely as well. Let's set it up. Here's another tower. Two, three, four. Okay. Let's build the gates just right opposite to the towers. And... Yeah, like this. 
And then I'm just going to roll these two off like this and like this. Yeah, okay, that's it. 22 villagers graduated. All right, well, this is it. This is going to mean that we need eight more people to... Oh, yeah, we're doing good now. But we also need eight more people to, to occupy these towers. Which is very good for defense purposes. But, well, it means fewer people again. But that's okay. Ah, eight more people willing to join. All right, you are welcome. Need to build a few houses for them, but that should not be that much of a problem. Do we have some space here? Mm, maybe a little. Housing. Yeah, that's not really the nicest area, but here we can. One, two, that means six. There's no space there. There's no space here. We need to keep space here for a wall. But I could just build a house here. Why not? We need those extra houses anyway. Very good. Well, once these houses are done, although I think I should prioritize them. Uh, otherwise, they might get done not in time and people will leave again. But with these houses, we have the extra people that we needed. Um, let's get the sick out. I'll leave the sick guard for now. But let's get into the candle shop. Do they have plenty of wax now? Not really. So putting extra people in the candle shop isn't going to work. Firewood splitter we don't need. Two extra people in the potter's building. That'll be good. This is the soap shop. But that's working just the way as I want it to. The Fletcher. Do we have enough arrows? Yes, we have. Okay. The Tanner. But we don't have heights. So, oh, we're 41 now. Now we got some extra heights. Cobbler. Yeah, that's all fine. Warehouse, that's okay. Yeah, let's keep it like this for now with all the different occupations. Do we have plenty of flour or did we run out? We have some flour, not too much. Um, so we'll leave it like this. Ah, here we have the brewer. Let's add a few people to the brewery. And I guess we should be building a little pub. Um, if we can find space somewhere. It does raise desirability in quite a big area. So this might just be fine. Maybe we need to move one house somewhere at a certain point. Could just build it here. At least we'll have one more there. And then we'll see how it goes. Interesting. All right. Well, it's been well over 35 minutes. So I guess it's time to wrap this one up. We did some expansions. We got a little further. I'm not really sure how much more episodes I'm going to make. I'm going to think about that. But at least I have a lot of fun playing this game. I hope you had a lot of fun watching this. If you had, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments in the comment section. I will respond to them. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.